Okay, so I wanted to talk about Color Shift Glitters. Um, and the reason I decided I want to talk about Color Shift Glitters is I got my sub box from Glitter Chimp. And this month's sub box, um, Glitter Chimp, by the way, has great sub boxes. And you don't have to renew them, which is really nice. But this month's sub box came with a bunch of fine Color Shift Glitters. So it actually it came with um, three of their Mixology Chunky Mixes, which are very pretty. Um, but the ones that I want to talk about are the color shifts. So a lot of us have used, um, the color shift, like this purple to teal color shift. We use it underneath like, um, a little, uh, the distress tumblers. And it's something that a lot of us are used to seeing. Um, mine is, um, actually Jinx by Ch Glitter Chimp. Um, another one that you see a lot color, like is, um, Karma. By the glitter champ, like that's that one that's like a pink to orange to gold. But there's also fine color shift glitters. And fine color shift glitters are amazing. Um I I actually love the fine color shift glitters for tacket method. So um tacket's like one of my favorites if you haven't realized. I love the tacket method. Um tacket works really, really well with holographic, obviously, that's what we all know it for. Iridescence and color shifts. Um I actually have Another fine one that's by Glitter Mama called Ariel, and this is like a purple green shift. I've used this on um, the bottom of different cups, and I love it. It's really cool. Most glitter dealers do sell color shifts, um, but a lot of them don't sell fine color shifts. Um, there's like a, it's not fine, fine, but this one's actually really cool too. This is called Shade by um, Feather Bear Bling, and if you can see, it's not super fine. And I love it, it's great. Um, my absolute, absolute favorite, if I can find it, is, you can see I use it a lot, it's also not a fine fine, but it's called Maleficent by Radioactive Glitter, and it shifts from purple to black. I love this glitter, I use it a lot. Um, but I'm so happy that I got these um, fine color shifts um, from the glitter chunk, like this is Hy um, Hydra, this is purple. Car, uh, Kraken, Centaur, what's the other one that came, and then this is the other one that came, a big deal, um, but I figured I would show you guys how to use a fine color shift, I I believe I've talked about Enchanted before, this is actually like one of my most favorite glitters, this is also by Glitter Chimp, and it's beautiful, um, so I'm going to actually do a tumbler and I'm going to use some fine color shifts so you can see how to use them with the tacket method and what they look like. This was a, um, I don't even know if it's on camera because I can't see. This was a stripped cup, so the, it looks kind of gross, but um, I just spray painted it black. And we're gonna put them on this and see, and you're gonna see how they all look. But that's why it looks so awful is this is a stripped cup. So um, I just spray painted it really quickly. If you can see it's still drying in certain spots and um, we will, get going and doing this in a few. Okay, I'm going to, um, we're gonna try out all of the um, color shifting glitter, not all, these are not all of the ones I had. These are just some of the fines. We're gonna try them out. I'm not going to use the newest one I got, um, a big dill. It's just, it's more bright than I want to use so that I can kind of keep some kind of cohesiveness with this. Oh, hold on. I just want to look at something really fast. It's holographic. Okay. Most of these are from Glitter Chimp. I may or may not use these guys just because they're a little bit thicker, if you see. Um, but the first thing that we're going to actually, so all of them are from Glitter Chimp. This one did not come in this one. I've had this one, and this one did not come in the sub box. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to do them all with Tacket so you can see how um, pretty fine color shift is. Um, this is my cup. I base painted it black and I'm going to paint uh, my tacket mixture on here. Um, again, this is a cup that I had stripped so it's not the prettiest and because we're using tacket you're probably going to see some yuckiness but we'll turn it into something. We'll save it somehow. So essentially tacket mixture is um, Eileen's tack it over and over again 
mix with water. I do um, about 70% tacket and about 30% water. That seems to be what works best for me um, so that it um, stays nice and tacky um, and it doesn't, it's not too watered down to where like it doesn't, it doesn't hold. And um, I do two coats. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do two coats. I'm gonna uh, put one coat on, let it dry completely, put a second coat on, let that dry completely, and then we'll apply our tacket or we'll apply our color shifting glitter to our um, cup. And I'll show you how pretty the um, color shifting glitters look when you apply them with tacket. They just, it's, it's again, it's like the same thing with hollow. Holographic glitter is really pretty all on its own, but when you lay it flat, it gives it such a very cool, um, there's like a little, I don't know what the hell that is. Um, it gives it such a cool effect. It's the same thing with this. When you lay it flat, it looks amazing. Like essentially that's why these look so cool because when you apply it with the epoxy method and you push it down, you're laying it flat. So it looks really nice and um, you see the color shift better. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll put a second coat on. Okay, um, I'm gonna use these six by Glitter Chimp and we're just gonna kind of pour them on wherever and see how they go. Hopefully I'll stay in frame because I'm sitting down. Hopefully you guys can see. All right, so let's start with, we'll start with Enchanted. This is like one of my favorites. <clears throat> it's really pretty. I'm just gonna kind of pour them wherever. I'll pour them like is one of my favorites. I'll just kind of okay. Let's pour that on the bottom here. And then let's do Hydra. Shake this bad boy off. Kind of like maybe we'll like diagonally rainbow them. Since they all kind of have shifts that as they go, they get similar. Does anybody clean up their workspace? Well, I work in a shed, so I don't work in my house. But does anybody clean up their workspace and like, it's just a massive amount of glitter everywhere all the time? I'm gonna do Kraken now and I don't wanna shake it too much because I don't want the other glitters to fall in. We'll do Centaur. Actually I'm gonna Glitter off. Let's go with Centaur. Now we'll do Smolda. And this is a little bit of a coarser one, so it's gonna be a little bit more opaque than the other ones, but that's okay. And it doesn't, um, it doesn't, I, I personally don't think that these stick as well, but like if I was doing something like this, I would more, normally do it with epoxy. I didn't read 
I didn't read the label till after, but that's okay. Finally, we're gonna go with Blurple. And this is also a coarser one. I like Glitter Chimps shakers because they have nice big holes. Um, I just think that they're nice. Um, and I just, like, they have, a lot of people in like groups will kind of complain about Glitter Chimp running out of stuff, but they have so much glitter that it's, um, it's unbelievable. Like you always find something to buy. Or maybe just me. Maybe I will just always find something to buy because I like to spend money. Okay. Let me put this back in and then we're going to burnish them down and see what they look like. shake shake handy dandy little sponge thing five below doesn't have these anymore I'm so sad so I'm actually looking to order <clears throat> a bunch from since I have my cosmetology friends um a bunch from a wholesale site that way I'm, I'm trying to find them that way we can I can offer them to you all because they're amazing so just burnishing it down and you can see, you can see the shift so much better. I mean, it's very pretty raw, don't get me wrong, but the shift when you burnish it down is very cool. I actually think it looks even cooler than holographic glitter when it's burnished down. So now we're getting to like the coarser glitters and they lay fine. Um, I just don't think they have quite the same effect. Because the pieces of glitter themselves are slightly bigger but they still look pretty cool i don't know if you can see the difference between the coarse and the fine but they just look really really cool once they're all burnished down wipe off all the excess and this bad boy is ready for epoxy and after it gets a coat of epoxy, I'll figure out what I'm going to do with it. But see, that's what Color Shift does with Tacket. And they, because the colors shift, they all color shift and they're like laid all next to each other. The cup, just as you turn it, just looks really cool because it just keeps changing. I don't know if you guys can even see that. But it just looks really awesome. So I'm going to put a coat of epoxy on this and then I'm going to figure out what to do with it because I don't know. All right, so our cup has a layer of epoxy on it. It color shifts really well, it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna put a decal on it. Um, I'm gonna put this Tired as a Mother decal on it and then I'm going to actually do the power wash method so that um, the it's like a, gonna be like a peekaboo slash power wash method so that the different shifts will come through um, and it'll look pretty cool. So I'm gonna put this decal on it now and um, I already like pretty much rubbed it all down on my transfer tape. And hopefully I'll stay in frame because I can't look at the camera and look at this. And this is actually going to come off so it's not um, staying on so obviously I would not have picked this green but I cannot for the life of me figure out what I did with my um, stencil vinyl. So that's fun. Put this down and I'll move on to the lower part of my decal. I want that eye, actually that little dot of the eye sticks and stays. Now, I'm gonna go make sure that I push all of it down really well because I don't want any paint to get underneath it. All right, I'm going to spray my cup. Um, I'm actually gonna be using the Mr. Clean one. The Dawn one is like sold out everywhere. So essentially what I wanna do, here's my cup, is I'm going to, hi Willow. I'm gonna spray it where I don't want spray paint. 
and you see it's like all foamy and soap is soap I mean that's just kind of soap does what soap does so I'm not super concerned about it and it will kind of run But I want to avoid my decal as much as possible. I did get some on there. I'm going to wipe it off. And now I'm going to take my spray paint. I'm already shaking it up. Shake a little more. And I'm going to spray. And now I'm going to hose it off. And I don't know why I just hit my hose like that, but I essentially knocked off most of my spray paint because I don't know what I was thinking. So we're gonna do a take two, which is fine. So I'm gonna let it dry a hot minute and then we're gonna spray it again. But you see how soap is soap. It just does the same thing. I just hit that. I don't know why I put my thumb on it because that's just, I guess, how I use my hose all the time and um, caused a little more than I wanted. We're gonna make sure I rinse off all of my soap. And then I'm gonna dry it off and we're gonna do it again. All right, I dried it off. I'm gonna do it again. Spray. And rinse. And this time I'm not gonna put pressure on my hose because that was stupid. So now, you see, we have all of this. Um, I wanted to make sure it was pretty black where my decal is. Hi, Mama. Hi, baby. Back to my head, just a. I think it's pretty. Yeah, you think it's pretty? Yes, it's shiny. Yeah. Glitter. It's glitter. So now I'm gonna actually let it dry, and then I'm gonna pull my decal off, and we'll take a look at it.